Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and I'm going to be doing a horse racing video for today, Saturday. And I'm still not sure what's going to become of this, uh, I guess, uh, to use the word content loosely. As you guys have been following this, as, as you may know, um, we've been, my, my DFS site, uh, True DFS that we run with, uh, with Bobby Fye and a bunch of other people now, starting to take off and we're, you know, they're, they're really tightening up the content and making it look really, really nice. And uh, it's been a while, but so it's looking really, really good. And I don't know what component to that site, the horse racing videos will, will participate in. Um, I, I still like to do it from time to time, just if I do have time, but I don't know exactly where it's going to fit in. But for now, we're just going to just continue to do them as I see fit. They'll show up on the true DFS site for subscribers. They'll show up for now for free on YouTube. I don't even do them that often, but may as well go ahead and do it as you know, it really doesn't cost me anything as, uh, except for just a few minutes. And as I mentioned before, I mean, to, to date, I have not run into people just over betting these horses to affect my price or anything like that. I mean, horse racing in general is not, particularly big right now. So it's not that big of a deal to me. Um, I will dispense with the, the introductions of my horse racing experience and things like that. I'll just cut right to the chase um, that you're probably better off um, uh, using these selections whenever I put this video out than pretty much anything you're going to do in a day with respect to other gambling um, uh, concerning my edge in this particular field. And certainly if you were going to bet horse racing anyway, you're going to do better with my with my selections. Anyway, uh, that's pretty much it. And uh, again, just the, the normal disclosures. I mean, most of the things I'm going to give you are pretty, are pretty uh, high variance, uh, high risk uh, stuff. Um, and it's, you know, you're going to probably go through a bunch of losses before anything hits. With that said, you know, <laughs> we've run really, really pure every time I put these videos out, apparently. Um, for those of you that have been on top of this stuff, I mean, we had an insane ROI, which I fear is going to regress, but hopefully, um, hopefully we'll be able to snap a couple of more of these off before, before it regresses. The horse racing gods and the statistic gods can be somewhat punishing um, in that once you start betting more, you start losing. But that's, that's all conspiracy stuff. Let's just get right to it again. I'm just going to just go through as quickly as I can without rushing. Um, I did look at three different tracks today. I looked at Gulfstream, Santa Anita, and Foner Park. And again, oh, one, one other kind of disclaimer. If you do want to bet on these races, um, you sh I, I would appreciate it if you signed up with SB Select and use the promo code TrueDFS to, uh, to sign up. If you have any issues with that, you can reach out to me on YouTube um, or in the TrueDFS Discord. Um, the other thing is if you're, you're coming across this just from YouTube, check out TrueDFS.com. Uh, if you play daily fantasy sports, you're getting access to some of the best content there is. I mean, honestly, I mean, there's a lot of it uh, out there, but you're getting Bobby Fye and Rody and DFS Chan and all kinds of incredible provi providers. Um, so you, you want to check that also. Anyway, Let's start with Gulfstream today. I'm going to go through race by race just to remind myself of what I'm not playing as well, um, just what races or passes. So race one is a pass. And I'm also going to, by the way, I'm going to dispense with how I come up with these picks. So that's, that's really like a 20-hour seminar. Uh, so I'm not doing that. Uh, race two, nothing. Race three, the nine is not bad at eight to one. So, I mean, not the greatest play in the world, but I think the nine, if you were going to play anyway, I think is, is not bad. The fourth race, terrible. The fifth race, the two isn't bad. Sky Bridge at eight to one. So if you get, you really kind of need eight to one though. So if you get eight to one on that, I think that's pretty good value. Race six at Gulfstream. Ooh, some scratches came in. Um, Okay, so the three was scratched. I didn't like him anyway, which is a little annoying, but that's all right. If you want to try a bomb, double play King to six at 20 to one. Now it's not going to be 20 to one with the scratch of the seven to five shot, but even if you get like 12, 13 to one, I think it's pretty it's pretty solid. I wouldn't say solid, but it's definitely going to, it'll make money in the long run if you, if you live that long. 
Um, race seven at Gulfstream. This is this is where there's some value. They scratched one of them, but there are two others. Um, the seven last leaf and the twelve creative girl are both um, are both really really long, um, and they are really really good prices. Now again, unfortunately, they scratched the six mystic eyes who I really didn't like, and he was going to be the favorite, which is a little bit annoying. But in any case, I still like uh, the seven, the uh, 11, and excuse me, 11 is a scratch. So the seven and the 12, Last Leaf and Creative Girl. Very, very good prices. Relative to their chances to win. Race eight, uh, awful. Race nine, um, awful. Race 10, awful. And race 11, okay, two bombs in race 11, if you have the patience to stick around for that. The three hilarious affair, 20 to one. The 10, uh, twirling blues, 15 to one. You could bet either of them or both of them to win. You could bet them in exact as in, you, you box the three and the 10. I mean, that's like, that could pay $1,000 for two. You know, uh, so if you wanna, you know, if you're, if you're losing, the rest of your stuff today and you want to try to get out or whatever, this, that's a really, really huge long shot thing you could do there. Then again, I mean, it's really not that late in the day. You shouldn't be completely dead and all your other stuff. If you play DFS, that is. Um, okay. So that's uh, the two big values of Gulfstream. Santa Anita. And then we're going to do Foner Park. That's the, uh, the last one. Um, okay. Santa Anita, first race. I think the two is reasonable uh, at 12 to one. Uh, not, not that bad. Race two, nothing. Race three, nothing. Race four, nothing. Race five, nothing. Race six, the eight is the favorite. Is probably going to win five to two. Not a, Probably not worth betting. Race seven, four, decent favorite. Probably shouldn't bet it. The one in race eight synthesis isn't bad. So if you want, you could you could bet the one to win synthesis, or if you want to get a little chalky, well, I would say chalky. Um, you could play pick you know daily doubles with the race seven. The four was probably a solid favorite, and then race six, the eight is a solid favorite. So what you could do if you want to do this, this is one way to be a degenerate, is you play a pick three eight four one. Right. And then when the eight loses, <laughs> then you play a daily double with four one. And then when the four loses, you play the one to win. And then when the one wins, you'll, you break even and you and you think, well, what the hell? Why didn't I just bet the one to win instead of forcing it with these other kind of mediocre plays? But uh, look, transparency is what I do sometimes. And that's what a lot of people do. Uh, and it's not the worst thing. All right. Race nine. There's. A little bit of value here. The uh, four, the five, and the six. Uh, she's got away 15 to one. I got a gal 12 to one and Graceland Gray at eight to one. So if you really want to like really press this degenerate mode, okay? So this is what you can do. Ready? So race six, you bet uh, a pick four. Eight, four, eight with four, with one, with four, five, six. Then when the eight loses, right? You're following along. You play the double, you play the pick three, four with one with four, five, six. Remember, you still have that double, that stuff going to the one. Then when you, the good bet, the one loses race eight, and you're really on tilt. Then you could just box the four, five, and six in race nine to try to get out for the day. And then what's going to happen is you'll forget to bet the five to win. The five will win, the four will, and then the four and the six will get third and fourth and you'll lose. Um, sorry if this is the kind of mood I'm in today, but. I've done horse racing for a long time and I've seen every variations and this is something that happens from time to time. So, okay, that's Santa Anita. Then special shout out to Foner Park. Foner Park in Nebraska, let's go. Race number one, unfortunately nothing. Race number two, unfortunately nothing. Race three, the three is kind of a decent favorite. You don't want to bet that. Race four, the seven, Handy Boy isn't bad. So if you actually get six to one on that, you can go for that. Race five, nothing. Race six, the three is, is an okay long shot at 10 to one. Not that big of a deal, though. Don't worry, we'll get to some better stuff. But, but that's not bad, forgery. Race seven, some value here. Burgermeister at eight to one. 
and Kids Mischief at 12 to 1. Both of them pretty, pretty good values here. And this is fun, or this is low level stuff. So you could come in last pretty easily. Uh, race eight, nothing. Race nine, big value. Seven, St. Louis guy, very, very strong 20 to 1 shot. Nine, Marquee Thunder, 15 to 1. 10, Brainstorm. You could box them. You could bet any of them to win. Um, good value over there. And then race 10, if you're up, but all the way at the end, this is your, 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 your dead and everything else. Okay. You could go play the three Jenna's gun runner, very strong, 15 to one, as strong as you can be at Foner with a lot of variants. But, uh, I have to remember to play that myself if I'm dead in everything as well. So uh, a couple of good plays throughout the day, um, all pretty high risk, but all pretty high reward. Uh, hope you guys do well and check out those sites that I mentioned to you and good luck.